Okay, um, we can begin with our meditative practice today, and then we'll get into some movement, both seated and then we'll do a little bit of gentle standing movement as well. So remember, the important thing is to make sure we have a nice uplifted spine. If you are sitting in a chair, try to keep your feet flat on the floor. And if your feet don't touch, like I said, maybe place a book or a block or something underneath your feet. But the main thing is to make sure the spine is as upright and supported as, as you can get it. That helps to open up this whole capacity to allow the breath to really enter into the body. Okay, so once you've found that, um, you can either rest your hands in your lap or on your knees, palms down or palms up whatever feels comfortable, but once you find the position, try to commit to the position that you wanna hold it in. And close your eyes. And take a moment to utilize your senses to bring yourself into the awareness of the present moment. So feeling the sensation of your hips on your chair. Observing how you're holding your shoulders. See if you can relax your shoulders, your jaw, your forehead. Start to move into taking deeper breaths in and out of the nose. But initially, more importantly, just become aware of feeling the breath and those gentle waves as they move in and out of the body. So using the awareness of connecting to your breath, connecting to the sensations in your physical body, allow yourself to truly occupy a sense of presence in this moment keeping it as simple as possible, just observing through the sensations. You're not judging anything, you're not changing anything. You're just aware of the here and now. Now, as we begin to settle into the moment, we start to become aware of our thoughts. What do we do with that? <laughs> so we try not to get caught up in our thinking. And one way to do that is to keep a point of focus. The simplest thing to do is just to keep your awareness on feeling the breath as it moves in and out of the body. But also take note of the state of your mind right now. Maybe your thoughts do feel calm or maybe they feel a little bit more erratic. That's okay. But the more you slow down and deepen the breath, the more you focus on the breath, the better chance you have of your thoughts starting to slow down. And again, try not, not to entertain them. Try not to get, up, get caught up in the story that's, that your mind's creating. Just stay focused on the breath. Stay focused on the sensations of the physical body and your physical surroundings. And do your best just to stay present in this moment. And now we're going to go into the belly breathing that we worked on last week. So soften and relax down into the muscles of your lower belly. Even let it kind of expand outward a little bit. And take a deep inhale as you let your belly expand out in all directions. That even means that you might feel a little bit of an expansion in the lower back. And then as you exhale, gently draw the belly in. It's not a forced pulling in, but as the breath leaves the body, your belly will naturally start to contract. Inhale, feel that expansion in the lower part of the body. Exhale, feel it gently draw inward. Try to keep the breath in and out of the nose. Inhale, 
Feel it opening, inviting that breath in. Exhale, feel it gently draw back inward. Okay, continue just like that at your own pace. Maybe you find that you can actually take a deeper, fuller, slower breath. Go for it. If the pace that I was taking was a little bit too slow, then maybe take slightly shorter breaths, but continue to, in a, in a gentle way, challenge your ability to take deeper breaths. And keep focusing on feeling the wave of the breath in and out of the body, filling the belly, and gently allowing it to draw back in. So just keep in mind, it's not a forced muscular contraction. It's simply the breath that fills the body that creates the expansion. And as the breath leaves the body, the belly draws back in. And the visualization of a balloon filling and emptying of air helps to kind of connect to that sensation. Try not to let the mind wander. Keep bringing it back to the breath. Keep bringing it back to this moment, to the connection with your body. And remember this type of deep breathing, this type of belly breathing or diaphragmatic breath helps us connect to the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the natural relaxation response in the body. So we already have it wired within us to be able to calm the nervous system, but we need to allow ourselves to connect to that deeper breathing to really turn on that response. And the more we do it, we do something called creating a more enhanced vagal tone. It's the, the vagal nerve that we're connecting to there. So the more you do it, the easier it is for the body to tap into that relaxation response. Now, in this more calm state of awareness, and if you can, continue that deep breathing. Start to contemplate the intention of unconditional love, whatever that might mean to you right now. And that means love without judgment, love without wanting to change anything, love without any strings attached or expectations. And this includes offering yourself that unconditional compassionate love. We tend to be the most judgmental to ourselves. And we can be aware of our ability to truly accept and love ourselves by becoming more aware of our thoughts about ourselves. Right, our thinking really lets us know how much work we need in order to let go of personal judgment, let go of personal being self-critical. So if you can, right now, keep settling into that space of acceptance. And sometimes it helps to place your awareness right in that heart center. Even though that's the physical location of our heart, it is also the energetic location of where we tend to feel love beginning and then it radiates outwards. See if you can connect to that sense of warmth, softness, compassion coming from your heart.
And then if you naturally feel inspired to offer it to others, maybe draw a mental picture of who you'd like to send this love to right now. Maybe even allow it to expand beyond the people that are within your immediate circle and to those that might need this extra space of love and compassion. And the beauty of these kinds of practices is that the more you can contemplate offering this love to others, the easier it is to feel it yourself. Trying to stay gently in that vibration. Place your left hand on your heart, your right hand on top of your left. And we're gonna take a deep inhale into the upper chest. So try to feel it expand as you inhale through your nose. And then a gentle cleansing exhale out of your mouth. Let's do that one more time. Inhale through the nose as you expand up and out through your chest. And gentle release out of your mouth. Come back to your natural breathing and just gently let your hands fall back to your lap. Take another moment to observe. Maybe you can feel a shift in your energy from the beginning of class to now. How the focused breath and the intention created a greater state of awareness and calm. Let's go ahead and blink open our eyes. Let's, let's just start with some, some gentle chair movements. So as we're moving through the physical practice, I still want you to take fuller breaths but there might be moments where it doesn't feel appropriate to take a belly breath, right? Because we need some engagement here in our muscles to support some of the movements. But we have this huge capacity here for the breath. We don't have to keep it isolated in this shallow space in here. And last week, um, we talked about um, and we practice learning how to breathe more so in the upper torso area. We still have a huge capacity of breath here. Those deep, full, expansive breaths is just a slightly different shifting in the awareness of how to breathe into the body. And again, these practices take time for it to become a little bit more automatic. But, um, and especially if you get a little bit more into the more physical, uh, more strenuous uh, type of yoga practice, you definitely want this lower belly to be engaged. Um, so wh while we're moving through these gentle uh, movements, Think of more deep breaths through the, the upper rib cage. Think of it moving from this lower part upwards. Okay. So initially, arms to your sides. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Feel the spine get taller. Reach up through your fingertips. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed. Exhale, lower the arms all the way down. Try to do it in and out of the nose. Inhale, arms up. Lift a little bit taller. Lift through the side body. Exhale, lower down. Now we're going to interlace the fingers and try to press the palms away from you and create a rounding through the spine. So tuck your chin in and try to feel the sensation of pushing into your shoulder blades and tilting your tailbone towards your face. Keeping your chin tucked in. Good. And then release your hands down. Unround the body all the way back up. Now, if you can, grab onto the chair behind you or maybe grab onto your forearms behind you. We're going to roll the shoulders back and reach the chest up. If it doesn't create strain in the neck, if it doesn't create strain in the neck, then you're going to look up. Shoulders back, think of the shoulder blades pulling in towards each other and press up through your chest. Try to breathe into the upper chest there.
Excellent. Gradually bring it all the way back up. And we're going to take a little twist. Um, you probably have different chairs, but we can always utilize the back of the chair if you want. So either take your left hand to the outside of the right knee or the outside of the chair. Make sure the spine is upright and look over your right shoulder as you twist. Try to keep your feet flat on the floor and try to find that breath. As you're twisting, gently bring your right ear towards your right shoulder. And then pick your head back up, stay in the twist, but shift your gaze forward. Good. Gradually untwist back to the center, and we're going to do it on the other side. So take the left hand behind you, right hand to the outside of the left thigh, and twist looking over your left shoulder. Maintain the twist and start to guide your left ear towards your left shoulder. Keep the twist, slowly pick your head back up and then look over your right shoulder. and then gently untwist back to the center. Okay, from here, you're gonna make sure your feet are a little bit wider than your hips, and then gently soften over your thighs, however you comfortably can, right? So it's just like a gentle forward fold. Let your neck go, let your shoulders go, try to find the breath there. To feel relaxing as you soften into the forward fold, getting a gentle stretch in the lower back, maybe even through the backs of the legs. Make sure you're not holding tension in your neck or your shoulders, see if you can keep letting that go, even if you have to rock your head from side to side a bit. Excellent. And then slowly unravel the spine all the way back up. Really nice. Okay, start to take some gentle circles with your shoulders, taking them forward and back. Other direction. Reach your arms back up, bend your right elbow, and see if you can use your left hand to gently draw that right elbow back. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Try to lift a bit through the chest and just breathe there. So in yoga, we, we work with resistance, but we don't ever want to create strain. So if there is a space of strain in a particular posture, back out of it. Right? You can push your edge a bit as long as you're not straining the body. And another way to really stay in tune with that is to make sure you're still connecting to the breath the whole time. Excellent. Release it down and feel free to shake it out a little bit if you need to. Good. Inhale, reach it back up. Now bend your left elbow and use your right hand to draw it back keeping the shoulders relaxed as you lift through your chest and breathe there. Excellent. And release it all the way back down and shake it out. So let's first start with our feet hip width apart. Take a slight bend in your knees and do a very gentle kind of rocking from side to side motion. And as you do this, let your arms just kind of hang to the side of the body like, like noodles, just kind of hanging effortlessly. And with the momentum, the backs of the hands might even tap your lower back there. This is a great movement to soften up the hips. It helps to kind of jostle the spine back into alignment. Excellent. 
it and let it go. Good. Inhale your arms all the way back up. And then you're gonna lower your right hand down and take a gentle lateral stretch over towards the right. Keeping your left hip anchored to the floor. Keep the breath going. Next. Inhale all the way back up, both arms up. Take a moment here to lift taller. Maybe even feel your inner thighs spiral back. Your tailbone presses down. Pull up through your lower belly and then lower the left hand down as you extend the right arm over, staying anchored through the right foot. Keep the breath flowing. Good. Inhale, bring both arms all the way back up and exhale, lower it back down. Okay, we're gonna do a very basic warrior one. So you're gonna step your right foot forward and your left foot back. You wanna to try to keep your hip bones pointing forward and your right knee bent. So you're just kind of widening the stance. Now you can also do this seated in a chair. I'm gonna give you the option for the chair, right? So in a chair, right foot forward, left leg back, and you're getting a bit of an extension back there. You can bend the knees if you need to, but just try to separate a little bit and using the chair for support in the hips, okay? From here, reach your arms up, tailbone down, shoulders relaxed. Now, while you're holding the posture, just try to focus on your breath. You can lower the hands down. You can even rest them at your sides at any time if they get tired, if the shoulders get tired. Good. Now we're gonna to do a gentle side angle pose. Take your right forearm to your right quadricep and extend your left arm over your ear. So you're getting a gentle stretch to the left side of the body. Again, you can do this by sitting in the chair. Excellent. Face forward, back into your warrior one, and then release your hands down as you step your left foot back. Good. We're going to do it on the other side. So keep your left foot forward and step your right foot back. Stay there. I'm just going to switch sides so my back doesn't go to you. Left foot forward, right foot back. Both of your hip bones are pointing forward. Reach the arms up. Again, if the arms get tired, you can take your hands you can bend your elbows. You can take your hands to your hips. Keep the breath going. And try to like notice the shape that you're creating with the body. Good. Now we're going to shift this into our side angle pose. Bringing the left forearm to the left quad, reaching your right arm over your ear and try to get a nice long line through the right side of the body and breathe through that line that you're creating. Back into that warrior one and step your feet together and relax. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna use the back of the chair for these next couple movements. You can also use a wall. So you're gonna place your hands onto the chair, step your right foot forward and your left foot back. And it's not as wide as a warrior one, only about two, two and a half feet distance between. And so listen to your body, right? But for this one, and, and I'll kind of guide you into the intention of the posture. You're gonna feel a bit of a hamstring stretch on the right side, so the back of the right leg, and a nice stretch in the lower back and shoulders. Now, it could look like this, right? Or maybe you're a little bit higher up, 
If it feels like a strain in the back of the leg, you can micro bend your knee, your right knee, okay? So try to let your shoulders and neck go. Again, slight engagement in the lower belly to support your back. And wherever you are with the posture, breathe. See if you can let your shoulders go a little bit more. If you've been working at a computer for a while and your shoulders are starting to feel tight, you can just turn around in your office chair and give your shoulders this nice release. Okay, be gentle as you're coming back up. The transitions between the poses are just as important as your mindfulness while you're in the pose. Okay, other side. Left foot forward, right foot back, about two and a half feet. Press your inner thighs back. Pull the belly in. And gently soften your neck, shoulders, and chest down. Good. And listen to your body. What feels right for you? The breath, again, will inform you of what's right for your body. And then gently bring it all the way back up. If you need to, kind of shake it out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do one more using the back of the chair. Well, one more in this forward fold type of position. This time, the legs are wider apart. I'll give you a front view. Your legs are wider apart. And again, using the chair, soften the chest down. Beautiful. Try to find that breath. Follow the breath in the body. Once you're holding the pose, the breath creates the release. If you're holding your breath, you're creating a state of contraction, right? We're, we're trying to let things go. We're trying to expand. Take your time, gently coming all the way back up. Excellent. So now we're going to use the chair. We're going to work on a little bit of stabilization. And this is a very basic yoga posture. You can't see my feet. Can we? I'm going to scoot back a tiny bit. Um, our tree pose. So it's a basic balancing posture. And it can be modified, right? A lot of times when we see tree, we see this variation. But tree pose can start here, right? So I'm using the chair. My left leg, my standing leg is deeply engaged. I'm connecting that to the floor and to the core. And then the right leg, the foot's still on the floor, and I'm just pulling my heel up, right? Find a point in foot. A, a point to focus on in front of you that's not moving and try to find that stabilization. Now, if you feel really solid here and you want to go a little bit higher up with that leg, you can bring it into the calf. And if you have the flexibility in the hip, you can bring it into the thigh. I just recommend not putting pressure on the knee joint. Good. And yeah, you can always let go of the chair if you don't need it. If you bring your palms to prayer. Beautiful. Keep the breath steady. Keep your point of focus steady. I like to think of this as like a standing meditation. Excellent. Let it go and shake it out a little bit. Okay, now um, maybe turn around or do what I'm gonna do and flip the chair to the other side, you might not have. Okay, so strong through that right leg, 
Root down through the bottoms of the feet, pull up through the center, and take the left heel in. Maybe bring it a little bit higher. Maybe challenge it without the chair. Beautiful. Keep the breath steady, keep your point of focus steady. Imagine your center connecting to your point of focus. Okay, let it go and shake it out. Really nice. Okay, um, let's come back through to a seated position. And scoot the chair a little further. Okay, um, this is really gonna depend on our own flexibility here. So we're gonna work on opening the hips a bit. First way to modify, you can take your right ankle and cross it over the shin and gently press the thigh out. And that's gonna get that opening there. If you can, the ankle comes over the knee and you gently press the thigh out. Good, keep the core engaged. Keep the breath going. And gently release it down. Other side, that left ankle can cross over the right leg and gently press out through the thigh, or left ankle over the right knee and gently press out. So make sure you're not putting pressure on the knee, that the rotation is happening from the hip and that you're not forcing it from the knee joint. Excellent, and release it down, maybe shake it out a little bit. Really good. Okay, um, let's take one more twist. So from here, we can repeat what we did in the beginning, or you're gonna take your arm higher up, your hand to the outside of your thigh, and look over the shoulder. Try to pull your spine up a little bit taller. And gently untwist. Let's take a forward fold between sides. Gently soften the upper body down. Let the head and neck go. Gradually round it all the way back up and twist it in the other direction, keeping the lift through the spine. Keep the arm a little bit higher up. Lift and twist. And try to visualize the spiral that you're creating with the spine and imagine the breath moving up and down that spiral of the spine. And gently untwist. Now you can repeat again with the hands behind you or interlace your fingers behind your head. Gently draw the elbows in, soften your armpits down. And from there, gently supporting the base of your skull, lift through your chest. Try not to shrug the shoulders.
Okay, keep your hands there. Tuck your chin in round, and then you can stay there or gently rock your head from side to side. Release your hands down and round it all the way back up. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna go into alternate nostril breathing. I believe we did this last week. So we're gonna use the right hand to close one nostril at a time. Um, if you are a little clogged in one, that's normal to be a little bit more compressed in one than the other. If it's really bad, you can even kind of use the fingers that are free to kind of spread and open through that nost nostril passageway. If it's still too much, then you can just release it and just visualize um, moving from one to the other. So this is a practice that helps us to find balance in both sides of the brain, the body, the energetic fields. And of course, when we learn to control the breath and focus on the breath, it helps to quiet down the mind and focus the thoughts as well. Okay. While we're moving through this um, breathing technique, visualize the breath as it comes into the nostril. Imagine it kind of spiraling down the spine. And then as you exhale, imagine it spiraling back up and out. In and down, up and out. Your inhale, you're imagining it coming in and down. Exhale, you're imagining it going up and out. Okay, so just try to play with the visualization as we're moving through the breath. So this does have a, a certain hand positioning. So you'd lower your index and middle finger. So these remaining three fingers become the little pincers for the nostrils. If that's too uncomfortable for your hands, you can always just use index finger and thumb, right? So we'll start first by inhaling through both nostrils. Exhale through both. Gently press onto the right nostril with your thumb and inhale through the left. Press the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Inhale left. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Inhale left, close the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale right, close the right, open the left, exhale. Inhale left. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. One more round, inhale left. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Release your hand down, inhale through both nostrils. 
out of your nose, exhale. Come back into your natural breath, but keep your eyes closed. Really check in with yourself and observe. Try not to judge what you're observing. There's no right or wrong way to experience this. Try to connect a little bit more fully to your connection with your feet to the floor. Allow that to bring you to your awareness, to your connection to the earth. Maybe even visualize your favorite place in nature. Imagine yourself connecting to the energy of that place. Start to bring that grounded, peaceful energy deeper into your body by imagine it moving through the bottoms of your feet all the way up your legs. Feel your legs becoming more calm. Feel that sensation of connecting to the earth make its way into your hips, into your lower back, into your belly, and allow it to feel more peaceful, more anchored. Feel that awareness of connecting to the earth as it makes its way all the way up your spine. Feeling more present, more aware of your connection to yourself, to the earth, to your loved ones, to all of creation. Feel that sensation in your chest, letting your chest relax, letting your shoulders relax. Feel that sense of ease make its way down your arms into your fingertips. Feel a sense of relaxation in your neck, in your jaw, in your cheeks, in your eyes, in your forehead. Feeling at peace in this moment with yourself. And with whatever might be going on in your life, even if it feels chaotic on the outside, try to allow yourself to settle into a space of acceptance on the inside. Take your left hand on your heart, your right hand on top of your left. And perhaps create an intention to bring this space of centered awareness and peace with you throughout the rest of your day. Maybe even imagine it affecting all of your interactions and more importantly, your connection to yourself. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Release that out of your mouth. Release your hands down. And gently blink open. So that's our session for today. 